In this top secret golf bag, I have the most underrated golf clubs of 2023. The golden rule, we are only allowed each brand once. So let's kick things off and you've already seen the head cover. I think this is potentially the most underrated golf club of 2023. It is a fantastic option if you want a hybrid, if you want a fairway wood, or if you want a little bit of a mishmash of both. Previous version to this, we did not get here in Europe. You only got it in the States, but it was that popular. We now have the modern version in Europe and the UK. I absolutely love this. I really enjoyed testing it. I'm gonna play a couple of holes. We're starting midway up the 10th hole here at Woolley Park Golf Club. I absolutely love how easy this club is to launch. When I tested it, I was playing some of the worst golf of the year and I still managed to play some really, really good shots with it. So if you want a hybrid or a fairway mishmash club, this could be the perfect one. I've got this in 17 degrees. And you can see just what ball flight that does give me. A low penetrating shot. That one's fading up to the green. We're 230 yards out and that's on the front edge. Guys, today we're going to talk driver, fairway woods, hybrids, driving irons, irons, wedges and putters. And they are all the most underrated clubs that you could potentially have in your bag for 2023. So putter, I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. I'll give you a clue and I'll show you the top edge of it, but I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is because this is a club that I've reviewed very, very recently. The video might not even be live yet, but so far I have an incredible record, ooh, nearly showed you, with this putter. Let's see if I can continue. You can see there that this ball's finished just short of the flag, but we have got a green in regulation with the Callaway UW. Let's try and roll this up. Two putt from here would be very, very nice. Let's see if we can keep the streak alive. So one of the things I really, really like about this putter is just how forgiving it is. It's got a really nice a tungsten insert in it, actually. I'm trying, I've ruined it now, but guys, I will talk you through the putter in a few holes time. But again, a very, very enjoyable putter, very similar to the TaylorMade Spider, which has made a resurrection this year. But remember, I'm only using one brand once. So that is, it's Cleveland's. So guys, there are some gorgeous golf clubs in this bag. They could be suitable for mid handicappers, high handicappers, and some of them could be suitable for the low handicapper who still just wants that air of forgiveness in their set. We're on a par three now. It's a gorgeous hole, the 11th hole here at Woolley Park Golf Club, 165 yards. So I'm gonna go with a seven iron, if I've got a seven iron in the bag, and then I'll talk you through exactly what irons I think are underrated. Now these irons, you will not pay full price for. You won't pay the expensive extortionate costs that you may see in some uh, of the bigger brands. But remember guys, I'm only using each brand once. So I've never had a hole in one on here and I would really enjoy one. I've got seven iron. Let's see what we can get out of this. Oh, I've hit that really good. Be the number, please. Be the number. Just a really, really enjoyable golf shot there. It might be a touch short, but a really nice high ball flight. It is, of course, the Tacomo 301 irons. Now, we have covered these quite a lot on my channel and on Chris's channel, but for me, I really enjoy where the market is going with this. I really like the Tacomos. I think the Callies are doing a fantastic job as well. Very similar design to the Tacomos. And you save yourself a load of money as well. You can get these for like half the price of some of the more premium, bigger name brands, just because they don't really pay for the marketing like the bigger brands do. You still get a forge head, you still get kind of premium components. And for me, it makes you wonder why are we spending a lot more money on golf clubs when you can get them a bit cheaper, obviously depending where you live with import, export and all the above. And it's funny because I've got these in my underrated set of 2023, but actually they are critically acclaimed now. So if you look in, I believe it is Golf Digest, they are winning awards left, right and centre for uh, direct-to-consumer irons. And also they've made an appearance on the PGA Tour with Wesley Bryan as well. So very, very interesting that more people are starting to use these clubs and save a little bit of money. So one of the things I really like about those irons as well is just how versatile they are. You can play loads of different shots with them there. I played a nice high shot into this par three and left myself a nice birdie opportunity. Lots of control as well. That stopped on a dime. A great time to talk to you about this Cleveland Frontline Elite Putter. So really, really have enjoyed testing this. The review is either on the channel or coming very, very soon. And like I said, I've just been holding putts for fun with this. It has a tungsten soft insert, which feels very, very, very nice. And it's a little bit cheaper than the TaylorMade Spider, even though it looks very, very similar. 
Uh, it looks very similar to the old Odyssey as well, doesn't it? The patent obviously ran out on that, and a lot of brands are now just using that as a template. It has the wings at the back, four more MOI. It has two 15 gram weights at the front, and a really nice big sole plate as well to drag MOI down in this putter. It comes with a standard, nice thick square grip, which I think really, really helps a lot of golfers take their hands out of it. And I feel like it massively helps me just think of less about my stroke, more about my alignment, which is made really easy with this club and then just how hard to hit it to try and make the putts. Oh, plastic roll on that again, par. So we haven't spoken about top end of the bag yet. And top end of the bag for me, I've put the Yaslinks head cover on it so you can't see what it is yet, but it is of course a tailor-made burner mini driver. Now this might be no shock to a lot of you. I really enjoy the mini driver concept. I really enjoyed all of the mini drivers that we've had. I'd enjoy this one a lot more if, um, Dave hadn't have skied it, but um, Dave will send you this video so you can get in the comments and apologize to the people for ruining such a beautiful club. But apart from that, it is a really, really nice forgiving driver. I love how it does perform. It doesn't go quite as far as a Stealth 2, as a Paradigm Triple Diamond, but it's a lot easier to keep in play. I love we've got the adjustable weights on here, the heavy one at the front, so the CG's dragged forward just to kind of reduce that MOI a little bit and bring it forward. We have the speed pocket for the low face hit, so you could use it as a three wood off the fairway if you wanted to and you had it set at 13 and a half degrees. We, however, set it a little bit lower at 11 and a half degrees. I've got that blue stuff on my hands from the greens. I should probably go and, probably go and wash my hands there. But it has the twist face. It has all the elements of a tailor-made driver and it's just a gorgeous package. I really hope they do this again next year and bring something else to us. Technology doesn't really change with the mini drivers, although now we have the adjustable weights. I think this is probably as advanced as it might get, but with the slightly shorter shaft length as well, it's ideal to hit that shot straight down the left-hand side of the fairway on the par five, leave yourself a nice shot in, and there we can talk driving iron, because the driving iron that I've got in this bag, I would never ever think I would have this club in the bag, but, it might well be. And you see guys, what I really like about the clubs I've got in this bag is there's an air of forgiveness to all of them. Yes, some of them are more workable. Yes, some of them are more versatile, but there is that air of forgiveness, which I think all golfers want, even such as Wesley Bryan on the PGA Tour looking at the Tacoma 301 CB and MB combination, still wants that combination of forgiveness in the longer irons. Even the Callaway UW, which is one of Callaway's most sold golf clubs, even for lower handicappers. People want that air of forgiveness. So when I talk driving iron, I've got a driving iron, I've also got a fairway wood which i think the fairway wood range is the best of the year i've got it in a seven wood which is going to appease you chris but again just that air of forgiveness which a lot of golfers do want we're down the par five now can we get on there in two and i've saved the best till last we haven't spoken about what i think is the most underrated club in total of 2023 and it might shock you a little bit we've timed that absolutely perfectly this is a man who knows his apples from his oranges. That's a swagger, isn't it? You shall pass. Loves it. Oh, what a boy. So we can see that the drive has finished just in the left-hand rough. If it was in the fairway, I think this may well be the club. This is, of course, the Vega Mizar Max driving iron. I love, to be honest, I love how battered it is already. So I've had it in the bag for a couple of weeks and I've been using it quite a lot. I love that it's a slightly shorter shaft and a steel shaft. I really like the green grip as well. I actually did order a set of Vega irons to test for the bag and that video is either on the channel or coming very, very soon. They were the Mizar Pro irons, but I love how industrial this looks. It's not a kind of, it's not a traditional good looking iron, but that's what I like about it. So we'll hit this down there first and we'll talk about the fairway wood that we do have. I've got the master's head cover on it so it doesn't give the game away. But I feel like I can pretty much play this any way I want. I feel like I can draw it, fade it, hit it high, hit it low. And the shaft length probably helps with that. So you see there a nice low one down that right hand side, just fading towards the bunker, unfortunately, on the par five. Not the most forgiving club, but if you have got a driving iron in the bag, you're not going to have the most forgiving club. 17 degrees of loft on the three iron. For me, that's debatable. That's pretty much a two iron, just with a three iron shaft in there. Now, if we talk about the fairway wood, caught you there, Chris, didn't I? We can see, 
it's the Ping G430. For me, the Ping G430 is a fantastic range of fairway woods. I really like the seven wood as well. I love how versatile this is with the adjustability. Although a lot of clubs do have adjustability at the moment, I feel like this does it really, really well. I love that carbon crown on there as well. It looks really, really nice. If I was gonna go for a family of these, I think I'd go G430 Max 7 wood, controversial, but G430 LST 3 wood. Very, very expensive, has kind of a little bit more tech on it with the carbon crown. So a great option for any golfer that does just want to get away with a little bit more. Let's see if we can play this down. I'm going to go for the fade again because the wind is strong off left today. And we might just miss the green so we can talk about the best, most underrated club. Oh, how good is that? I might just put it close to the flag, to be honest, because why not? I think we've got a chance to get up and down for birdie. Guys, let's get down there. Let's speak about what I think is such an underrated club. I've not seen anybody else do kind of content on it. And it's such a shame because it should. And it's such a shame because it should be a shame. And it's such a shame because it could shave off. <laughs> it's such a shame because it could, right. I'm going to leave this in. It's such a shame because it should shave off loads of scores on your golf. <laughs> so we finished in the greenside bunker on the par five. That was a great attempt from the seven wood. I actually want to show you this club more around the greens. I'm going to play the bunker shot to finish on, but this is a club that I did a video on recently and I'm not sure why the brand who brought this out have done what they've done because they've almost they haven't replaced it they brought out another club in line with it and it didn't really need it because i feel like the versatility for this club oh, is quite remarkable and it is of course mizuno s23 wedges so this is very similar to the old nike engage wedges where they kind of have a little bit of a cut out there so the cg isn't in the middle but it's more spread around the head that makes it more versatile it means you can pick your ball flight a little bit more it means you can get a little bit more forgiveness on these kind of shots and even here with a 60 degree you can see i played a high one i played a low one but it's just a really nice club to have in the bag so many people struggle around the greens why not make it a bit easier for yourself if you had this kind of bag set up mini driver callaway uw seven wood th this kind of wedge this is a really well raked bunker isn't it anyway it would just make golf that bit easier for you and you just have that little bit of kind of room for error so guys thank you so much for watching smash that subscribe button and i'll see you all exactly the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.